Thanks to the efforts of Sha Ho Yuan and Zhang He, the lands of Han Zhang now belong to Cao Cao. However, there were three kingdoms vying for control of the land. By attacking one, you merely left yourself open to be attacked by the other. Sensing an opportunity to strike Cao Cao, Wu moved its army north. At Xu's behest, they advanced their forces to Hefei. The bulk of the Wei forces were concentrated in Hanzhong, leaving their defenses in Hefei thin. Amid the commotion within the camp, Cao Cao stood alone, calm and collected as always. He was determined to defend Hefei by any means necessary and would not give it up without a fight. As the Wu army closed in, his blade stood firm, glistening in the sunlight. The Wei ranks were blessed with the presence of Zhang Liao, and the legend which would be told for generations to come was about to begin. The Wu forces are relentless. We should hold up and await reinforcements. Unless we strike back, the castle will fall. I, for one, am not afraid to give my life for the good of my kingdom. I am Zhang Liao. Who will face me? I will accompany you. You must inspire our troops with great deeds. Witness my might. Victory serves to make me that much stronger. We've done it! The enemy vanguard is no more!
Only you can keep her face safe, my lord. We are behind you all the way. If we didn't attack their vanguard, we would have been finished. Everyone, we are alive thanks to my father's bravery. Surely Sun Quan is swelling with pride at commanding such a large army. Taking advantage of that will be the key to our victory. One day, Lord Zhang Hu will be a warrior as mighty as his father. The future is bright indeed. Did you see the face on that guy before? <sighs> Terrifying. I fear we are testing our luck too much. I only hope it will hold. We may be few in number, but we are expertly trained. Isn't that right, my lord? My lord, I hear you have served many different leaders. Yes, they say Ding Yuan was your first. Is that true? Wu's ranks are filled with mighty officers, and they probably have more up their sleeve. Maybe if you were not... Only you can keep... Lord Zhang Liao's might will be spoken of for generations to come. The enemy is underestimating us due to our inferior numbers. What if we were to use a decoy to lure out Sun Quan? Indeed. I volunteer myself for this mission. And I shall be the one to seal off the escape route. Then I shall be the one to deliver his head to our lord. This plan hinges on our cooperation. I am counting on you all. I will hold this garrison and lure out Sun Quan. You must keep the enemy busy elsewhere. I see now why I'm not a coward and fear. I have never run before any man. I will stand and fight.
point. This is not the end. broken away and is making for Hefei Castle. We must hurry to defend the castle walls. Victory serves to make me that much stronger. free. 
they return, we will repel them again. You are a man of true determination. My lord's vision of the future is resolute and unwavering. Therefore, I too must be unwavering. Thanks to the efforts of Cao Cao's loyal blade, Zhang Liao, the defenses at Hefei held firm. With the immediate threat removed, it was the perfect chance to advance from Hanjiang toward Yi. However, much to everybody's surprise, Cao Cao instead returned home to Xuchang. There was tremendous speculation as to the reasoning behind his actions. Was he focusing on building up his domestic strength? Or perhaps he was wary of the threat posed by Guan Yu in Jing? Or perhaps Cao Cao's health was fading and he could no longer participate in a drawn-out military campaign? Meanwhile, seeing Cao Cao's absence as an opportunity, Xu advanced on Han Zhang. There, the Wei generals Xia Hu Yuan and Zhang He stood guard over the summit of Mount Ding Juin. Whatever Cao Cao's true intent was, it was hidden by his sudden withdrawal from the front lines. And it would not be known until the victor of this battle had been decided. The weather's quite good. Which means that our camp is all too visible. I must admit, this hinders us more than it helps us. <laughs> so, that's where you are, old man. I will go forth. No, I'll take care of it. You stay here. <laughs> Scratched me. I'm off my game. Everything we do is in plain view of Mount Chachi. That must be our first time. Never let to tell the tale. The old man's up there now. John Cook, you wait for our lord. Retreat! This is not the end! That's another enemy pounded into submission!
Come, General. We have no time to rest. We must hurry to Mount Chachi. <coughs> you like all of the others. at last. This should put them on the back foot. It was a 
trap. We have to this stop my specialty. None of you better try to escape. If you do, I'll hunt you down personally. Fight for the land he dreams of. You're right, General. Thank you. I too will dedicate myself to this cause. That takes care of that. Leave the mountain to me. General, you have to go after Huang Zhong. And. <laughs> All right. You stay here and rest for a while, okay? How could this be? It's as if your actions out there have cured me of all my ailments. Achieved will please him. What the? How? Catch me if you can. Come on. It breaks now. So Shaho Yuan has fallen. My lord, I eagerly await your order to attack. Very well. Cut open a path to Mount Tian Dong and secure our escape route. What? Cao Cao, what did you just say? We shall withdraw from this battle. It is pointless for us to try and reclaim what we have lost. But what about avenging Yuan's death? Go. Zhang He. As you command. Yuan. Ugh. Cao Cao. Why? <laughs> <laughs> 